Okay, hello and welcome to part two of this tutorial series, or maybe three, no two. Um, in this part, we're just going to show. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to use this function that we created um, to actually show some output on the page. So we're going to be working with our test.php file. So let's just open up that file, and what we'll do now is add a. Well, we need to call the function first, and we'll do that up here, just because, well, why not? Um, so what we're going to do is create a new variable called info, which will contain the server information. And this is going to be equal to, um, what do I call the function? Fetch server info? Yeah. Fetch server info. Uh, we need to pass in the config, config, the uh, server IP and the port. So server IP and, oops, config server port um, port there we go and this should now hopefully get the information we need so just down here under our h1 tag we can add a new PHP block and we'll just do print underscore r info so now we can load up our page um, oh I spelled port wrong on line 5 so port should be port. Oh, and then index port. Well, that's interesting. Let's go to our config file. No, oh, I spelled server wrong here. Server. I knew I shouldn't have closed that file. That's good. Um, so, reloading this now. You see, it took a little bit longer to load. And you can see we get this um, sort of result. Um, we get the server IP, which we know already because we're passing it in. Um, and we get the server port, which is the actual server port that Minecraft is listening on, not mine query. If you remember our port that we defined, ended in 6.6, this ends in 6.5, which is the default port for the actual Minecraft server, the game server, you know, the actual game. Um, and we have this play account, which is currently 0, max play is 30, and then playlist. And if I just go to the, if I open up my game and join the server, hopefully it won't grab my mouse focus, just wait for it to log in, downloading terrain um, come on, and there we go, I'm in the game so, if we just reload this page now you can see we have play account 1 and you can see this playlist, actually let's just view the page source to make this a bit clearer uh, you can see now playlist is an array containing one element which is my username so we can use this to sort of create the output that I had previously um, I'll just disconnect in case anyone comes on and talks to me. So reloading this again, which should show that I've disconnected. There we go. So going back to our um, code, um, first thing we need to do is check to make sure the server is online. If you remember, the fetch server info function would return false if it was offline. So here we can just do if info equals false. And then here we'll have some HTML code, so we'll just close and reopen the PHP block. And the HTML code will be a paragraph tag with status offline in it. And that's that done. So then if the server is online, i.e. if it's not offline, else, that is, um, we'll have some more HTML, so close and reopen the block. And then we're going to have three more paragraph tags. So, oh dear, for the sake of speed, I'll just copy this and paste it three times. Scroll down a bit. So then in the first one, we're going to have status online. In the second one, we're going to have slots. And this is going to be the number of slots taken divided by, divided by, sort of divided by, over the number of slots available. Whoops. Like so. So what we need, to, well, let's leave that in. What we need to do is just replace this 1 and 30 with the actual values. So we can add a PHP echo sort of in line, so PHP block with an echo in it, just on one line like this. And we can just echo info. If you remember the um, players online variable, do I still have it? Uh, yeah, look. Um, player count contained the number of online players, and max players contained the total number of slots on the server. So in our code, we can just do. Um, play account here and 
and here we can do the same thing PHP echo info max slots or players players like so and then finally we're going to have a list of players so we can do players and this is going to be a comma separated list so we need PHP again and we'll do echo implode because you remember the um, player list key contained an array of player names so we can use implode to put something between that the elements of that array and then return it as a string so what we want to put between them is a comma and a space and the array is info uh, player list Oops, like so so now if we reload our page should see that we have now the status online slots 0 of 30 so 0 used 30 available and players is blank which is because no one's online so if I just again join the server connect and hit reload I haven't joined yet there we go downloading terrain you can see slots 1 of 30 players me so that's that done um, so thanks for watching and hopefully this was of some use to some of you. Oh, and by the way, um, this iServer is public, so if you want to join, you can do that.